that's the hand he said. Okay, so with the bow, the most important thing once you're in bird with the bow is the gas on the feet. When she starts to grab her legs, all her weight is going to pour towards you. That's why you, you keep keeping your hands up in case she falls forward. But you'll find that once she brings her hands away, um, we'll be good. She won't fall. Okay. Is once she starts grabbing her legs from behind, her weight's going to pour in towards you. That's why you keep your hands up, okay? And then I'm going to ask you to give her a lot of gas with the feet back. The magnet slowly going to, she's going to take one hand away. And she's going to grab her back and let her keep a hand there. Let her magnet push it back. Okay. Now start giving her gas. The moment she t takes this arm off, you're going to feel it. When she bends this knee, her weight's going to shift down really quickly. So get ready to give her more gas when she brings his arm back, okay? Nice, man. Now take your time. So as the flyer, she makes very small movements. I'm feeling the opposite. I'm feeling it going that way. She's falling which way? Back that way? Oh, good. What was happening was I felt her going that way, so I started doing the opposite. Opposite. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I didn't know how to... Yeah, so just like on a, on a gas pedal when you're driving a car, um, give her more gas or you can ease off of it. So I think I overemphasized that she would fall forward because that's the danger fall, right? right. She can fall right on top of her. I'm used to shoving yeah. people back, back too much. Yes, but that's a much safer fall. So safer fall. So you did good. So okay, bring her back away.